Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Student. In today's video, we are going to be going through a comparison between good notes and notability. When I got these two applications, they cost the same. In my app store, they might still cost the same, but they might not, I'm not really sure. But basically, they're about the same price, so it's important for anyone to be able to decide which one they want. I get asked this a lot of times, which is the best note-taking application? And unfortunately, in as much as I have all of these applications, I can't be sure to tell you what application is best for you. This is because applications are just like stationary. They're like pens. Depending on how you write and how you hold your pen when you're writing, you will have different preferences. So it all depends on your handwriting, it depends on what you need the application for and the things that are important to you as a person that will determine whether or not an application will work for you or it won't. But the truth is, between good notes and notability, both are great applications and they will work perfectly for anyone okay so i'll just open up the applications and so the first thing is how your notes are arranged in not in notability you have this hierarchy of notes and you can get to see all the notes that you have at a glance in good notes unfortunately you don't have that option you can scroll to different categories to see what notes you have in them like for example in pharmacology these are the different notes that i have and then in uh, fourth year i have different subjects like that so it's like this massive category this master category has smaller categories and in good notes if you like seeing all your notes at once in one glance with thumbnails then this might work for you but you can also put beautiful thumbnails in your notability it's just they'll be smaller and they won't look as big as the ones in good notes notability is not as customizable as good notes you can customize good notes much more than you can um, notability so you have a lot of options for your good notes than you do for notability so if you guys haven't watch the full review of each of these applications i'd advise you guys to do that because that's where i talk about everything to do with these applications so you fully understand what each application has to offer you before you watch this video to compare the two then you have customization of your paper templates you can add different paper templates in good notes in notability you can do the same but it's a much it's a much more complicated way of doing it i did a video for that so you should check that out because it's not a part of the um, application it doesn't come in the settings like it does for your good notes so for your notability it's a whole separate process that you have to do i mostly use my good notes as a pdf editor i find it's a better pdf editor and i use notability as my note taking application the toolbars are a bit different notes you still have more options like i said good note is much more customizable than notability but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better application I have to emphasize that the options you have for your writing tools in good notes you can still add more colors you can customize the size of your pen much more than you can in um, notability because in notability these are all the options you have they are set and the sizes you have are also set so you can't really have a lot of customization which i don't mind these work for me i use this as my main note taking application and it works amazing all the notes that i share on my blog are created in notability they have the same bowl pen and a fountain both of them so highlight as well are the same exactly as the pen in both applications just for notability they don't give you as many they just don't give you as many sizes as they do for the pen the difference in highlighting properties in good notes it makes the text pop out whereas in notability it dims the text that you are highlighting actually not so much anymore but it does dim the text eventually but it's not as bad as it used to be because i they just did an update and i think they just fixed that in the update but you can see the more layers i put when you compare the two but the highlighting in notability has improved both applications come with an eraser and in good notes you can have two different types of erasers one that erases a whole stroke and one that erases per pixel. In my application, I have the one that erases per pixel. Um, since in Notability, you only have one option um, to just erase everything per stroke. So that's the main difference between the two applications. 
in good notes you have more customization and in notability they just give you one option and then you can add a few things to your notes in good notes these are all the things you can add you can add images text bookmark um, add a page above or below in notability you can add photos take a photo this is a new addition that they just added where you can add um, all these gifs i'm not sure how these are supposed to work though for notes but i guess if you just want to have fun notes that you know this might work for you okay and then you can add figures i'll show you how that works and then you can sticky notes different types of sticky notes which is not something you have in good notes good notes doesn't have sticky notes and web clip good notes doesn't actually have a web clip addition option so this is how you add your shapes for for notability so you add them as a separate thing like as a something like that you're adding onto your notes like that and then you can move it around to put it around the words you want it to be in you can also edit this that's how you add shapes in notability not very convenient but once you get used to it it's quite okay but in good notes you just have to draw the shape you want and it will just turn it into the shape so it's so much simpler to draw shapes in good notes than it is in notability and then for your straight lines as well you have to press this tool for your straight lines um, in good notes but for notability to draw straight uh, straight lines you just have to draw the line and keep your pen pressed on the page and if you just straighten it out which i find is more convenient because i find when i'm writing notes in good notes i will select my shapes button to draw a straight line and it's difficult for me to remember that i have to untap the shapes tool so yeah i prefer how notability goes around it and then we have the selecting tool for both applications the one in good notes allows you to take screenshots which is something an option you don't have in notability so the selecting tool in good notes versus the selecting tool in notability so notability doesn't have so many options you can convert this to text with ocr you can change the color of the selected section you can take a screenshot of this selected part then you can copy delete and you can resize you can resize that section when you've selected it the selecting tool in notability also allows you to change the thickness of your pen once you've written which is something you don't get in good notes so i can just change the thickness if i'm not happy with how my notes are looking notability also has this other tool for selecting this is the resizing tool it has all the options that you have in the other selecting tool but it also allows you to resize the section and then you have um, a pointing tool for both of them so your pen stops working and then one outstanding characteristic of notability is the ability to record audio so this is really good for taking lecture notes and class notes because you have a lot of information that you you write and sometimes you get tired during the lecture so you don't you can't keep on writing and you can't keep up with your lecture so you can just make little bullet points that you can tap on to hear what the lecturer said um, for that little section so you don't have to listen to the whole audio you can actually select what part you replay so that's good good notes doesn't have that option and then we have some settings for paper so these are the only options you have in notability they have more variety in the number of colors they have whereas good notes has different sizes different types and and you can even add your own it has so much more variety than notability does notability just mostly customize the color of the pages which i think half of them are useless because no way i'll be writing on black um on a black notebook it's it's quite ridiculous good notes gives you a more more paper options but you can also add your own customized papers in not in notability in a not so traditional way but it works it's like just a way around getting your own paper into notability so it's not impossible it's quite possible i have a video for it you should check it out but some people might find it a hassle it is a hassle to use your own customized papers in notability than it is to use in good notes both of these are really good at annotating pdfs but good notes is more designed to edit pdfs better than notability 
because it supports hyperlinks notability also supports hyperlinks by the way um something they added i'm not really sure when but they do support hyperlinks good notes has is designed to recognize pdfs so this pdf here doesn't actually have hyperlinks in its text but good notes can actually recognize that this pdf actually has a table of contents that has hyperlinks so it can recognize these little details in the PDF file, which Notability doesn't. So this is why I advocate GoodNotes as a very good um, as a very good PDF editor. Another difference between these two note-taking applications, the searching abilities of these two. Notability only searches through your text, but GoodNotes also searches your handwritten notes. So it has OCR, which is optical character recognition. I also have a video for that, so you can check that out and to understand more about it. So GoodNotes also lets you search through your handwritten notes. Those are all the differences that are really important for anyone to know, anyone who's trying to decide between GoodNotes and Notability. Those are the differences. And I should emphasize once again that it really comes down to personal preference. From my observation so far, I think GoodNotes works. If your handwriting is not cursive, then GoodNotes will work great for you. But if your handwriting is cursive, Notability will work better for you. That's just my personal observation um, from all the pictures of different people that I see using good notes and those not using good notes. So I basically use Notability for most of my, for all my notes actually, I use Notability. And occasionally when I feel like it, I use not always. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Those of you that are new to my channel, hi. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I will be putting out. Until next time, guys, share this video, like, comment, let me know what you think. Why would you choose Notability over GoodNotes? And from your personal experience, which application seems to work better for you? Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.